that this year's this final of the Antwerp hard. Open goes some way close hard. to last year's classic. From the press, please. There he is. When Wally O'Sullivan played superbly, but not quite well enough. And he was beaten 4-3 by Jeff This time the finalists, Mark Selby and Mark Adams. Two world-class players fighting it out prevail in what is turning out to be a world-class tournament. It was last year, it is this year, and we're led to believe that we are returning here to break, yeah. for another event in November Thank you. 2013. Who will return as the defending champion? Thank Mark you. Allen, the man who's going to break off in frame number one of this race to seven. Mark Selby. First frame, Mark Selby to break. The man in charge, by the way, Olivier Martil, who's from right here in Belgium, and he received a thunderous welcome also. Thank you. The PTCs are unique in that the final is exactly the same length. Alan's a big occasion player, he will enjoy this, so too will Selby. Selby won two players to a championship events last season. Trying to make it a second this season because he's already prevailed in Firth, Germany in the Paul Hunter Classic. Selby was magnificent in his semi-final, beating Ali Carter 4-0 in less than an hour. 55 minutes total playing time it was. Mark Allen was pretty good as well in overcoming Andrew Paget 4-1, lost the first frame on the black, then made breaks of 50, 97, 66, 77 and 105. head-to-head -head wise well apart from best of fives in the championship league and stuff like that proper head-to-head -head wise it's 2-1 to Selby and all three of their previous meetings have gone the distance Selby's beaten Allen 6-5 in back-to-back -back Masters at Wembley. Allen beat him in the semi-final of the World Open in Haiku in China earlier this year and went on to capture the title. One. What might be of benefit to Selby is that he's played on this table today. Allen hasn't. And as we've seen throughout the course of the day, it's playing a little differently to the normal tables. Very springy off the cushions. Sometimes when they're screwing back, not as responsive as normal. Mark Allen one.
cagey start. Both players have justifiably immense mutual respect. Yeah, so these two have played 33 frames before this in a meaningful length match. Selby has won 17 of them, Allen 16. You get the impression this could be a really close run affair. There's the referee, Olivier Martil. Belgium's top official. Thank you. One. Well, enthusiastic applause from the crowd, but it soon died down when they realised that Selby had not achieved any kind of position. I think the only colour he can actually see is the black. <laughs> I think it's fair to assume that if Selby plays to the standard he showed against Carter in the semi-finals, he will win. Outscored Carter, 366 points to 51. It was a Mark landslide. Selby won. Made breaks of 76, 58 and 131 to finish off. He looked really sharp. One. First real scoring chance falls to Allen. Six. Seven. Won the World Open in March. Looking here for his second professional title. Twelve. I think last season, from Mark Allen's point of view, is as notable for the comments he made on Twitter and the like, on social media, and in press conference as well, controversial comments, as they were for what he did on the table. He's been a lot quieter this season, thankfully. And I think he's better served that way. Thanks. 13. I didn't agree with an awful lot he said last season. <clears throat> I thought he was out of order on many occasions, and I've been critical of him for that. But I think he's a, a good bloke, generally speaking. And he's a fine player. 20. Also, it's a recent Premier League fixture in Banbury. Mark Allen showed he was very big-hearted as well. He announced that he was going to give 50% of his group earnings from the Premier League to a campaign that helps a young lad from Northern Ireland called Oscar Knox, a three-year-old who's got a, a rare form of cancer. That campaign is hoping to raise £250,000. And Mark Allen is helping. He said that if he does qualify for the semi final playoffs in the Premier League, he will give his entire group earnings to that cause. And so for that, he must be wholeheartedly applauded. 28.
Forty-two. It's an unaccustomed place for Mark Selby to be sitting sitting in his chair. Forty-three. He'd won ten consecutive frames before this. The last two in re recovering from four, uh, three two down to beat Paul Davison four three. That was in the last sixteen, and then in successive matches in quarter final and semi final. Fifty. He beat Marco Fu four nil. Ali Carter four nil. Actually, coming 51. into this final, Selby's frames one lost record was outstanding in the tournament. Won 24 frames, lost only four. I think this is going to be the fifth, though. <coughs> Allen, he'd won 24 frames as well. 58. Lost 10. Fifty nine. The break goes to fifty nine, so does Mark Allen's advantage, and so the black here will leave Selby requiring a couple of snookers. Sixty six. Sixty seven. Now the question, will Mark Allen start the final with a century? No reason why not. He's already made two in the tournament. 74. One against Ben Wollaston in the quarterfinals. One against Andrew Paget in the semifinals. 75. Eighty-two. Eighty-nine. Ninety. Thank you, Roger. This is the century, you know. Ninety-seven. All very well for the crowd to be enthusiastic, but we don't want to hear that kind of lunacy. People shouting out just to hear the sound of their own voices. Ninety-nine. He's on the green, Mark Allen. He definitely will go. There's a path past the brown. One hundred and six. What an explosive start to the final. One hundred and eleven. Well, I was thinking before it was going to be impossible for Allen and Selby to equal what O'Sullivan and Trump did last year. Maybe they just might. One hundred and seventeen. Allen one, Mark Selby nil. A sign of things to come. Let's hope so. Just 
look and get the updated players to a championship order of merit. Allen, regardless of the result here, is up to seventh place. Of course, he'll make big strides if he were to go on and win the title. Mark Selby, he's guaranteed to end the tournament, whether he wins this match or loses it, as the new number one taking over from Stephen Maguire, who was absent from this event. Now, the top 25 players on the PTC Order of Merit from Europe go through to the grand final next year, later this season. The top seven players from the Asian players to a championship Order of Merit join them. And so you have 32 players there chasing down a first prize of £100,000 and, of course, world ranking points as well. And at the moment, I think Selby, Maguire, Robertson, Martin Gould, Rod Lawler, who was the winner of PTC number four. They're all looking good to appear Thanks, Mark. in the grand final. Thank you. Second frame, Mark Allen to break. Not happy with that. In and out of bulk. Too thin, too hard, too bouncy a reaction off the cushion. Allen has a thin cut red to middle. Well, in a roundabout fashion, Selby's poor safety has benefited him. By the way, Allen's century break in the previous frame was he's 164th in professional competition. One. Not bad for a 26-year-old. And it was his seventh this season. Eight. Nine. One thing I've noticed with this table, quite 16. often the Reds have been loath to split up. Mark Selby, 16.
one. It was the kind of shot that Selby knew he had to commit fully to. Because had he missed it, he would definitely have left a red. Six. Seven. You can't get close to the main bunch of red, Selby, so just looking to screw back off the blue slightly <laughs> trying to pop the red closest to the blue as it stands <clears throat> 12 Well, he was scratching me 12. a little awkwardly, but even so, that was a very surprising mistake. Yeah. Regardless of what happens over the next few frames, Mark Selby will increase his lead at the top of the world rankings as a result of this. And as we've said, he moves to the top of the PTC Order of Merit. But Selby's at the stage of his career now where tournament wins are the main currency. Thanks, Mark. Thank you. And to be frank, given the way he plays, given the way he can play, which is phenomenally well, One. I don't think he wins as many as he should. Eight. Nine. Mark Allen looking to kickstart his season. It's not been good so far. Lost in the last 16 of the Wuxi Classic to Mark Williams, 5-3. That was the opening major world ranking event of the season over in China. His performances in the previous players to a championship events haven't been good. And he lost in the last 16 of the Shanghai Masters to Jed Trump. Sure. With regard to the Premier League, well, it's 1-1, lost one so far. The run he's on here is by far the lengthiest he's put together in a tournament so far this season and there's no doubt about it it will do wonders for his confidence especially with the international championship coming up in Chengdu China starting 14. next Sunday and the UK championship in York only six weeks away 15 22. Thank you. 23. By the way, Allen starts off in the International Championship against Rob Milkins in nine days' time. 23. Mark Selby has a tough first round encounter against Ali Carter. 30. 
We'll bring you all of the action here on LiveWorldSnooker.tv. It starts at 6.30 a.m. a week today. 6.31. British time, that is. 7.30 Central European. He's got 36. A, a jabby Q action in many respects. Quite short, concise through the ball. 37. Best reaction again. Just squirted off the black rather than grip the cloth. Well, that's the surprising red missed by Selby that allowed Mark Allen to the table for this. 44. Forty-five. And now Alan zoning in on two nil. Fifty-two. Fifty-three. More than likely here, he'll play the little stern off the black to try and make contact with the red and pink hold on the other one. 32. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. 32 in front. 60. So red, black, red, or red, pink, red will be enough. 61. Well, again, not the best of contacts. Allen feels himself fortunate to be on the red. 68. But I think looking at it the other way, he would have been unfortunate had he not dropped on it. <laughs> 69. Looking to go another frame from the books. He's playing the yellow here to try and move the red, the awkward one. Just so. Stop thinking. Are we going to see back, -back centuries? Seventy-two. Well, in the first 75. frame, didn't get much of a look in. In this frame, Selby did have a chance, but the ready missed was a glaring error. And Mark 77. Allen capitalising to the full. Needs the five colours to bring up three figures for the second frame in succession. 80. Eighty-four. Eighty-nine. Looking too close to the black, maybe. Mm, Ninety-five. No, it's still possible, but it would take something out of the ordinary. Sure. 
and he needs every implement he can possibly get, the, get his hands on to, to be able to reach this. Not the tallest fellow, Mark Allen. Come on, chip it in. Back to back centuries, please. He has done, you know. He has done. Superb. What a start to this final. 117 the break in the first frame from Mark Allen. There are 102 players. Mark Shelby in a 2 0 hole. Well, wonderful stuff. I don't know what it is about this Antwerp Open final, but it seems to bring the best out in the guys. Last year, Judd Trump's 4-3 win over Ronnie O'Sullivan was one of the best matches you'll ever likely to see. I think everyone was talking about it afterwards who witnessed that final. It was quick, it was brilliant snooker from both. And so far, brilliant snooker from Mark Allen in this final halfway towards his second professional title and also his second title of 2012 because his breakthrough came at the World Open in Haiku on Hainan Island in southern China back in early March it's been a, a strange old progression to the final for Mark Allen He's beaten three amateurs, actually, which is rather unusual. Karen Wilson, Stuart Carrington in his first couple of matches. And then in the semi-finals, Andrew Paget. All three matches by four frames to one. He also beat a couple of former world champions. Peter Ebden, 4-2 in the last 32. Thank Graham you. Zott, 4-2 also in the Third last frame. 16. Mark Selby to break. But in many respects, his most remarkable success came against Ben Wollaston in the quarterfinals. Wollaston led by three frames to one. In frame five, Allen, would you believe, needed a couple of snookers on the colours. He got them and then cleared yellow to black to snatch it and dominated the last couple of frames to win 4 3. And of course, when you play as well as that in successive frames, it instills more than a grain of doubt in your opponent's mind, puts them under pressure. They believe that every mistake they make will be pounced upon. Foul. Mark Selby, four. Well, if the cue ball had stayed out of the pocket there, that might have been might have been okay. But going in, it's left Selby quite a simple opener to the middle. One. Now Selby here really does have to strike back with gusto. Mark Selby one. Well, the red he missed in the previous frame came as a shock. The brown there, even more so. Don't think it was a kick. It's been a tough day for Mark Selby. Began this morning at 10 o'clock local time with a two-hour, 47-minute victory over Paul Davison. He was 3-2 down, came back to win 4-3. But he breezed through his next couple of matches, beating Mark Ofu and Ali Carter 4-0 on both occasions. So he's had plenty of rest time during the course of the day. Uh, 
Thank you. In fact, Selby One. had three hours between semi-final and final. So I don't think fatigue is an issue. Or at least it shouldn't be. Seven. Very nice, the black dust pot, past the red that's closest to it. Eight. Now will Alan choose to go into the bunch here, I wonder? No, he isn't. With three or four 15. open red still, there was no panic to go into them. I think right now, though, the black's path to the right-hand top corner pocket is being blocked. It is indeed. Sixteen. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Problem about to be solved. As Mark Allen was 29. making great strides in the amateur game, we knew that when he turned professional, he would have a good Thank career. You. you can never be quite sure how well things will pan out. But I think his career is going pretty well, certainly on table. I think if he were to curb his tendency for outspokenness off the table, he'd be better off. <laughs> because if you calm the cliche when he lets his few do the talking, 37. he speaks eloquently. Won the IBSF World Amateur Championship in Holland in 2004. Holland, of course, the neighbouring country of Belgium. Won that year's European Amateur Championship in Austria. Won the following year's European Under 19s Championship in Russia. As for Northern Ireland amateur titles, well, he won them at under 14, under 16, 43. under 19, and under 21 level. Reached the semi finals of the World Championship in 2009. 44. And here, you, looking for his second title, as we've mentioned before, with 44. world ranking points attached. It would actually be his third professional tournament win because in 2009 he won an invitation event in China called the Jiangsu Classic. Fifty one. Appeared in his first ranking event final in December last year when he valiantly fought back against Judd Trump in the UK Championship. Lost 10-8 in the end but gave Trump a real fight and a real scare. Fifty-two. Well, that's the trophy they're playing for. At the moment, it looks to be heading towards Mark Allen's luggage. Fifty-seven. Fifty-eight.
He's making this break even though on numerous occasions he's had bad contacts. There was another one on the black. 65. The break is 65. The lead is 60. 66. And very quickly again, Mark Selby needs a snooker. There's no way back for Selby from here, so the question now, are we going to see a hat-trick of centuries? 73. Thank you, Mark. 74. This is simply stunning. 81. You've got to be kidding me. 82. Oh, and a cannon from heaven to boot. Come on, Mark, make this third century in succession. Now, what a start to the final that would be. 88. Here we go, listen to the roar when this one goes in. Possible 128 clearance on. 106. Callan, never could play. Finally, this is one, but not before he makes 106 break. The scoring in this final has been truly extraordinary. And all from one player, Mark Allen, breaks at 117, 102, and most recently 106. He has raced into a 3 0 lead over Mark Selby. He needs one more frame to become the Antwerp Open champion of 2012. Stunning. Well, Mark Selby has got plenty of support here at the Lotto Arena. But given the barrage he's been subjected to, I find it difficult to believe that he can come back and win this match 4 3. You never know. He's got the capabilities of winning four straight frames from anyone in the game. But he spent so much time in his chair, and Mark Allen is queuing so well. I wouldn't be surprised at all in around 10 or 15 minutes' time if Mark Allen was lifting the trophy. Sensational stuff. €15,000, by the way, goes to the winner. Not the biggest money event in the game, far from it. But I think it will do wonders for Mark Allen if he could win this. Already he's produced a sparkling display. Thank you. And what about if he were to win this frame with a century as well? That would be a first. Thank you. Every frame for won Mark Allen to break. With a century. I remember at the Northern Ireland Trophy a few years back, Ronnie O'Sullivan in a match against Ali Carter, winning 5-1 or 5-2. And in every frame he won, O'Sullivan made a century, but to do it in a final, 
even if it is a sprint distance. Outstanding. Well, extraordinary. be delighted the yellow's in the way. Alan can't wait to get to the table. What a rich tradition of snooker players from Northern Ireland. The number one until Mark Allen arrived in recent years was Joe Swale but of course in the 70s and 80s Northern Ireland had two of the all-time greats in the game Dennis Taylor and the incomparable Alex Hurricane Higgins world champion in 1972 and 1982 there's more Higgins in Mark Allen than there is Dennis Taylor Taylor was a, a percentage player a scrapper Mark Allen is more of a flair merchant and of course he's prone to getting involved in controversy as well One. Well, it happened in frame two and in frame Eight. three, and now it's happening again. Selby in with an early chance. Nine. The other two have been wasted. Will this one be squandered? <coughs> Sixteen. Seventeen. Thank you, Mark. 31. Still two open reds for Selby. Will he be tempted to go into the bunch off the black? No. And he's quite correct not to go into them. The way the pack was there with the back of it flat. 38. The chances were that if he did take the cue ball into the bunch, he wouldn't have dropped on anything anyway. 39. And of course, playing the black at some speed would have made it a more difficult pot anyway. So no point taking the risk. Forty-five. 
Well, it was but always Selby, going to be difficult 45. to take the cue ball into the bunch from there. At least Selby has got second prize, even though he missed the black. He didn't dislodge any of the reds, and there's Thank nothing you. there for Allen. No damage done there either. By the way, let me congratulate Nick Malloy, who today has achieved something of a, a Q Sports breakthrough on the pool circuit on the Euro Tour, the North Cyprus Open in Karenia. Malloy beat Albin Auschen in the final. Auschen from Austria, 9 5 the score. And the significance of that win is that Malai is from Albania. Top class pool players are emerging from more and more European nations. And now Albania has a, a big time winner as well. Thank you, Mark. As yet, despite the popularity of snooker on the continent and it's wildly popular in places like Belgium and Holland and Germany. We still have yet to see a world-class snooker player emerge from the continent, but I'm sure it's only a matter of time. Thank you. One. Nine. Well, it's not as intended, but it's okay choice of a couple of reds the thin cut well. to the top left hand pocket a straight red to the right hand middle he'd have more control on the cue ball if he played the pot to middle we might have seen there could be useful a little later on <laughs> looks as though it's available might 13. be just heading towards the near jaw but it's going in the general vicinity of the pocket of that there's no doubt might not need the plant anyway because there's an open red above it Seventeen. Came down to have a look at the plant, and I think he likes what he sees. Oh, right into the heart of the pocket. Okay. Eighteen. And now the remaining reds are lined up. There's only one awkward 22. aspect about the configuration of the balls on the table here, and that's the yellow and the blue being close together. Although the yellow will pot 
to the green pocket. Not surprised he missed that, it was tough. The problem was, off the brown previously, even though he potted the brown, he caught it a little bit thick. That's why he wasn't down on the reds as he should have been. One. Looked like it was going to be a bad kiss at one point. It's actually turned out to be ideal. Good angle on the blue. Come down for the three reds. Selby really should open his account here. Now you saw there almost Six. overcut the blue, and that's why the cue ball travelled more than he thought it would out of position Mark Selby 6 well, the intention there was to nestle the cue ball in behind the black. He didn't succeed. Alan can see a red. No, he's going to take it on. But I think he's got a pretty straightforward safety into the left-hand segment of the bulk area of the table. safety one and now a good pot on yellow from Mark Selby and the frame really should be his Needs the cue ball to stop and it has. So Selby, 33 points ahead. The Brown would make it 37 with only 35 on. And should the Eight. last red disappear, that would be frame definitely over. Mark Selby, 15. And a friend. The white wash has been averted. Mark Selby, Barrow has been the first three frames. At least get some quality table time there. Helped by a break of 45, not quite as spectacular as what had gone before from Mark Allen, but 
a reasonable frame nevertheless and he starts on the road to recovery Mark Allen three Mark Selby one just thinking about the last 16 match in which Mark Allen was involved he raced 3-0 ahead of Graham Dot this morning Dot came back to trail only 3-2 and you wondered whether Allen was faltering well he held firm because he won the sixth frame on the black with a colours clearance so can Selby maintain the recovery I'll tell you what, if he gets back to 3-2, it's very much game on. They've been playing now for just an hour. Excellent stuff. Excellent. If you're just joining us here on Live Thank World Snooker TV, this is the final Frame of the five. Antwerp Open. Mark Selby, the world number break. one, Mark Allen, or Mark Allen, Mark Selby, up against Mark Allen from Northern Ireland. And Allen has played fantastically well so far, winning the first three frames with breaks of 117, 102, and 106. Selby, though, has just won the fourth to keep hope alive. When he gets on a roll, Mark Allen, he can be a dominating opponent. When he won the World Open back in March, he did so as the result of the most one-sided victory in a final. Last season, he beat Stephen Lee 10-1. Everyone thought it was the start of big things for Allen but then he finished the season off with two first round defeats lost to Ricky Walden in the last 32 of the China Open and then at the World Championship was beaten very surprisingly by Cao Yupeng from China 10-6 he claimed there'd been a, a controversial push shot at one point Came out with some very ill-advised comments in the press conference afterwards. But the fact remained, it really was a disappointing performance overall. And one shot didn't make that much difference. Even if you thought it was a push shot, and many, many players believed it wasn't. So a low-key end in terms of results to last season for Mark Allen. A low-key start to this season until now. Ball. Yes, the players have decided on a re-rack, and I think that's the correct course of action. The red over the middle pocket was the problem, with it being there, no one was prepared to take any risk of taking the cue ball into bulk. No one had an advantage because the ball had yet to be potted, and so that was the, the perfect environment for a re-rack. It was a tactical stalemate, the frame was going nowhere. Olivier Martil offered the re-rack to the players and they said, yes, please. 
no hesitation. Thank you, Mark. And so it's... Thank you, frame five. Frame Mark five. Selby, break. Take two. Well, that was a bold choice of safety shot. Wanted to screw the cue ball back a little more than he did. By going into the bench, he spread them far and wide early on. And the way the balls are spread, you get the feeling if someone gets in, we could see another sizable break. Well, gasps from the crowd, but look where the cue ball is. That's where he wanted it to be. Had the red gone in, all fair and dandy. He would have then just touched the cue ball in behind the black, no doubt. As it is, though, he has got the tactical initiative here. The middle, just enough room past the apex of the bunch. Now, what a chance! What an opportunity to put some substantial points on the board. The way he's been playing, Alan will view this as a frame winning chance. Three frame, and in this case, match winning. Eleven. Twelve. 
A little bit of noise there from the crowd just as he was playing that shot. I think someone dropped something. Not on purpose. Very good order being maintained by the Antwerp faithful. Nineteen. Twenty. Well, Selby's pot success rate isn't too bad, is it? 91, but 96 from Mark Allen. 20. Just a moment, Mark, please. Olivier Martil has decided that the pink won't go on its own spot, and so it has to go nearest its spot in a direct line towards the black thank you 26 so a little bit of intricate finger work there to get the pink where it should be look at the table time from mark allen 27 70 to 30 pretty much Again, not the best of contacts. Olivier Martil realizing that, cleaning the blue. 32. The red on the left of the bench still pots, but this is missable under pressure. 33. No sign of faltering yet. 40. And he's pretty useful with the rest, Mark Allen. Needs a little more than the rest here, though. He also needs the extension on the back of his queue. Thank you. 41. Now it's getting a little more complex. 46. That looks good, I think it affords Allen the chance to, to drop nicely on the blue, maybe to go into the bunch. 47. Still one open red, should he wish to drop on that? And I think that's what he's doing, yes. Over the half century mark. 52. Inching ever closer to the title. 53. But he caught the pink just a little too thick there, wanted more of a, a glancing blow. The black will still pop, but it's mighty thin. I think Alan would be best served here to try and get the pink safe and place safe off it in behind black, maybe. 53. Didn't get the snooker behind the black, but that shot made all the sense in the world. Selby's going to come back into the frame with a clearance. 
it will now need to be a special clearance because of where the pink is. You can see still ample on the table for Mark Selby. 75 points remaining. That's six red, six blacks, and all the colours adds up to 75. I think here Alan normally would play off the red close to the left hand side cushion, but he doesn't really want to, to move that one because it's semi awkward. Quite often when you're well in front in a frame, your shot choice is dictated by not wanting to remove trickily placed balls, keep them where they are, make your opponent's life as difficult as possible. But in certain instances, you have no choice, and this is one of them. Now then, does Selby chance his arm and take on a red to the middle? If he does and he misses, more than likely it will be his last shot of the frame, of the match and of the tournament. As you saw there from that really good camera angle, not an awful lot of pocket to aim for. Well done. And right now, Mark Allen is thankful that he Six. chose to put the pink safe. Seven. Fourteen. Now, does Selby want to remove the pink here if he gets the right angle? No, it's a little too early for 15. that. Has to concentrate on staying on the blue. Chipping away all the time at the deficit. Twenty-one. Not quite. Twenty-eight. Hard enough on the red, although it shouldn't pose too much of a problem. There's the bonus. Getting the pink out, or at least partially out. The only problem with that was, by trying to develop the pink, which 
I think it was a, a fair enough move. He was sacrificing guaranteed position. Mark Selby, 29. Selby keeping control. Foul and a miss. Mark Selby, four. The reactions off the cushions on this table have been quite strange all day, really. On many occasions when a player has come across the table for a one-cushion escape out of a snooker, they haven't judged it correctly first time. In this case, well, Alan Mark Selby hasn't judged it correctly twice. Wide on both occasions. And now the Allen lead has been eroded to only 16 points. a better job this time it might be a four ball snooker <laughs> confirmation there it is we had an extraordinary end to the Neil Robertson Andrew Paget quarter-final earlier when Robertson got Paget in a really good snooker Paget missed the snooker three times eventually made contact, flute one back and went on to clear up just wonder whether Alan snooker there out of one is going to be the, the decisive moment one. it probably is you know what a great pot 17 in front, blue would make it 22 safely in just yellow and green needed six eight you don't get a much simpler frame match and tournament ball than this Eleven. just at the brown mark and you're over the line A title richly deserved. 20. The world number one puts to the sword. 26. Excellent from Mark Allen. The new accurate Antwerp Open Champion. He wins the final 4-1. What a way to start the match. 117, 102, 106. When you make three consecutive central breaks in the final, you deserve to win it. And that's what Mark Allen is doing. He's 15,000 euros better off. But boy, the confidence boost this tournament win will give him, that is priceless. Well, the presentation party will come into the arena now. So, dames and heren, fantastische finale was dat. Graag nog een applaus voor onze twee protagonisten, Mark Allen en Mark Selby. The MC, by the way, is Rudy Downs, who does the Dutch-Belgian commentary in Flemish, of course, for Eurosport. Really good guy, Rudy. He's been around snooker for many, many Mark. years. First of all, I want to thank you for an excellent three days. Great tournament you played. But how would you sum summarize this final? Uh, well, I mean, obviously Mark played fantastic. I missed a red at 1-0 into the corner and I missed a brown off the spot at 2-0. And other than that, I didn't really do that much wrong. Mark seemed to capitalize on every mistake I made and he played well and deserved to win. Okay, thank you. Even snel vertalen. Mark verdiende dus te winnen.
ik heb niet veel fout gedaan, maar ja, als je meteen drie centuries binnenkrijgt, dan gaat dat snel. Um, overall, you did a good job for the world rankings. I mean, you took a little bit of margin against Joe Trump and against John Higgins. How important is that number one ranking for you? Well, I mean, obviously, there's so many great players out there, but I mean, yeah, I mean, it's great to still stay number one. I think, obviously, I had a good run this week. I think I've gone from one to zero now, so I mean, that's good. So, uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, Judd's a great player, Ron is a great player, same as Mark. I mean, there's so many, so it's great to be at the top of the tree, but I mean, obviously, it ain't going to last for, forever. Okay, and the final question. How do you summarize your three days here in Antwerp? Not enjoyed it at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, no, it's been fantastic. I mean, obviously, I would have liked to win, but it's not to be. But I mean, the crowd's been fantastic all week. So And once again, I'd just like to congratulate Mark. Well done, mate. And uh, look forward to coming back here next year. Okay. We'll love to see you again next year. Thank you, Mark. As always, Mark Selby, the perfect ambassador for the sport. Mark, congratulations. What a wonderful match. Yeah, I couldn't have done much more there. Uh, first three frames, I didn't know what was going on. It's, it's not, that's not normal for me. Uh, but... That's what Mark brings out of you. you no, know, he's the best player in the world, and you know you have to be at your best if you're going to beat him. Uh, he's a very deserved world number one, and any any victory over him is a good one. Yeah. Um, that was something that Bjorn Hanover, who was commentating with me, noticed. You were so focused in the first three frames. Yeah, well, I was focused the whole match. You no, know, I've said I've said all along I'm not a real big fan of the PTC events. But when you come out here with a crowd like this and a venue like this against the best player in the world, no, that's your motivation right there. Okay. Um, where do you keep your trophies? Because you will need some space for this one. I don't have many. <laughs> uh, uh, it's nice to win trophies, but no, uh, it put, sort of recognizes all the work that you put in over the years. Uh, I'm sure my dad can keep that one nice and clean for me in his trophy cabinet. Okay. Will we see you back next year? Of course. I always like to come back and defend my title, so I'll definitely be here. And just want to say a big thank you to the crowd because they've been fantastic all week. Thank you. <laughs> okay, then. So I can confirm, by the way, that Mark Allen is listening to. Okay, dames en heren, dan is het nu tijd voor de prijsuitreiking. Graag een applausje voor de managing director van Accurate, Chris Henry, vergezeld door de chairman van World Snooker, Jason Ferguson. Will be in the grand finals next March, we believe in Galway and Ireland. Now it just remains for Jason Ferguson, the chairman of the World Professional Snooker Association. De eerste prijs gaat naar de runner-up. En die runner-up prijs die is natuurlijk voor Mark Selby. En dan onze grote winnaar, die krijgt een kleine trofee. Dat is een trofee van de provincie Antwerpen. Maar hij krijgt natuurlijk ook die fantastische beker mee naar huis. En daar voor een applaus voor een schitterende winnaar vandaag, Mark Allen. Thunderous applause. Superstar. Hier in België. Northern Ireland's Mark Allen is feeling just champion. He won the Jiangsu Classic in 2009. He won the World Open in China earlier this year. Now he's a professional tournament winner three times over. And that's just about it from our coverage here on Live World Snooker on TV from Antwerp, Belgium over this last three days. Thank you for joining us. And please join us again next Sunday for the start of the International Championship wel, Mark the new event zich klaarmaakt om in, in de boekjes te komen wil ik graag namens Eurosport ook iedereen danken voor de gezellige sfeer deze week <laughs> even wat sabotage van Mark Selby then, from... volgend jaar zijn we er weer met meer snoeker hier in Antwerpen graag tot dan
thanks very much for tuning in and we hope to see you in Chengdu in a week's time. Remember that international championship total prize fund £625,000, £125,000 to the winner. And on this form, Mark Allen could well collect that bounty as well. For now though, bye bye from Belgium.